Hi guys, Rick Davis here again from LearnTVProduction.com. Today's topic is the best photo editing software. And this according to a professional photographer. My guest again is Anil Mungle, a 10 year plus veteran of photography with a body of work ranging from pro athletes to big screen celebrities. Anil shares his thoughts on two popular pieces of photo editing software, Aperture made by Apple and Photoshop Lightroom by Adobe. I'll have more details about both of these at the end of the video. Anil also discusses shooting in black and white, how things have changed since the film days, and how software tools have made a photographer's life much easier. To begin with, I asked Anil which software tools he uses to edit his photos. I use a, a program called Aperture. It's on Apple, and uh, it uh, allows me to do really great edits. Um, it also allows me to manage my images and projects nicely. It's something very similar to Adobe has a product called Lightroom, and it's very similar to that as well. And um, those are basically the two products that people would use to do um, post-processing with. Um, sometimes I do use a little bit of Photoshop, um, but for the most part, the amount of editing I use is very limited. I like to color correct, crop, um, and you know, do a little bit of sharpening and adjusting and that's it. I don't do very much post doing, say for example, like um, skin clean, cleaning or anything like that, unless I know I'm doing specifically a portrait. And what about with your video work? I know you do some video as well. What software do you use for video? So for my video editing, I use Final Cut Pro. I find that um, it allows me to do everything that I need to do. I don't do extensive video work. Um, so for the, the limited skill set and the limited editing that I have to do, Final Cut Pro has everything that I need. Do you find, uh, do you work very much in black and white? I don't, I don't have clients that actually ask for black and white anymore. Um, everything I shoot is digital, so it's always in color. When I need black and white, I will in post convert to black and white. Um, I actually still have a film camera that I love shooting and if I want for my personal self, if I want some black and white, I will shoot some black and white film from it. Is there a, a drastic difference in the look between actually shooting in black and white film versus taking color film and pulling out the chroma? Well, different black and white films have different characteristics. Um, first of all, you know, the, back then you'd have to choose the actual ISO. You'd choose a 100 black and white film or a 400 black and white film. Um, and they would have some grain in them and they would have some sort of character. And depending on how you develop them, those pictures would come out looking a bit different. So it's almost like each film and each paper and each developer had its own look and feel to it. And I think you can kind of emulate that in post using um, some black and white tools. Um, in the end, you probably get something looking similar. Um, it's just more of the process is different more than anything else. And this process that Anil refers to can be achieved using both Photoshop Lightroom and Apple's Aperture. Both these pieces of software are available as downloads online. Apple, in its infinite wisdom, allows you to get access to multiple tools all within one platform. When working in Aperture, you have the same powerful tools that Final Cut Pro 10 uses. Final Cut Pro 10 is Apple's video editing software. You can apply motion effects to your pictures with a Ken Burns-like effect. Aperture is available for about $80 US. Adobe's Lightroom is also a powerful photo editing software. In my opinion, it has three advantages over the Apple product. First, it operates on either a PC or a Mac. Secondly, it comes with a free 30-day trial period, so you can kick it around and test drive it, see if you like it. And thirdly, it comes with some real intelligent photo fixing effects like Heal. This tool will automatically determine uh, your color, your hue, your saturation, and it'll fix the photo flaws. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please let me know if you currently use a different photo editing software from the ones I've mentioned and some feedback on it. Just leave a comment in the window below. 
And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. You'll, uh, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, your comments and your likes are really greatly appreciated. Bye for now.